Hi there, it's Jeanette from my home studio, Far Forest Ceramics in North Worcestershire. Um, it's evening here in the UK um, in August and I've got a kiln load, which to be honest, majority of it is all refires, but something a little bit different. I've been working with garden gnomes and tree luminaires. So only one shelf, I think there's four gnomes, two that I had major problems with and I've refired and two that I've tried again in the hope that they're going to be okay. They could all be a disaster. Um, I don't wear, work with terracotta very much anymore, so I do hope this is going to be okay. Um, and then there was four luminaire trees that also didn't work out, and they were all going to go in the bin. And you know, you think, go on, I'm going to give it a go. So what's there to lose apart from one Terracotta earthenware firing. So let's go and see what we've got in here. And I'm just hoping that there's some success. Okay, I'm ready. Please, 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 please. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yes, I think they're okay. I'm trying to have a look. I can't tell which were the dodgy ones and which were the okay ones. Oh, hang on. I need to put some light on the subject. Two some seconds. Let me do this. Now I've opened. Oh, right. Okay. I think we have some success, but you never know till you look up close, do you? So, ah, uh, where's the start? I've been doing some gnomes, just playing around with some terracotta clay. Now, which ones? Okay, this is one of the new ones. So this one, let's have a look. He's a Christmas gnome. Oh, look at him. Oh, yes, I like that. This colour's much brighter when you bring it out the kiln. So the plan is that I'm going to actually put some either gold luster on here, or I might even put some gold glitter on it, give it a bit of sparkle, just a bit of colour, pop of colour. But what happened previously, I dipped these in a white slip, and I did a trial on some test tiles and on the white slip, I glazed straight on top of the white slip and it all popped off. So this one, I washed off, I'd done all the glazing, I washed it all off, I reglazed it very quickly, rough and ready, and it's okay. So I'm pleased with that one. Oh, isn't that cute? I'd say that's about 10 inches tall. I love that, really nice. Now, trying to find which is the other one that I did. I think it's, oh, I don't know. I think this one, this one is a new one. So these are the two that should be okay. Oh, I like that. I've done a different technique on the hat because I ran out of time and I thought these were gonna go in the bin. So I love the misshapen hat. I love that, it feels lovely in the hand. Um, I tried a new technique here on the hat. I quite like that, but that's a little bit thick. Oh, I'll show you what I've just done. Hang on a sec. Um, two seconds. I was playing with these at the weekend. So I've done these with a much finer technique. Again, same trees dipped in earthenware slip, white clay body on top of the terracotta. They're still drying at the moment. And then I used a very fine piping nozzle as if I was piping on a, a wedding cake, um, greaseproof paper bag and swiveled all that on, which was much finer than I did on the hat. So I didn't know how this was gonna work out, which I like that actually. It creates a nice bit of life on the hat. Little butterflies, cute, 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 really nice. But then, oh, my hubby said, come on, I'll come and glaze some gnomes with you. Never been in the studio with me before. So we spent four evenings, an hour after work every night, chatting, glazing. He said, well, this is quite fun, this is. And then I put them in the kiln. And when I took them out, all the clay had blistered off and it was popping off everywhere. It was heartbreaking, his first glazing experience and first kiln load, and they were all ruined. So I chipped off as much as I could, ground down the rest. So there was an incompatibility between the clay body, the clay slip, and the terracotta, I think, because I hadn't misfired it. So it was a trial. So I've basically reglazed them, and it looks like it's okay. But we'll see when we get up close. Well, I'm looking at what was wrong and how it's covered it up. Okay, actually, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. 
Oh, Mark's going to be so pleased with that. So I don't know if you can see, but underneath here, there was some green with some dots on. And here at this point where I've put the red over the top, I can feel very slightly a slight ridge where I had to take off all this glaze because it was all popping off and this bit was on. You can see this is slightly more solid colour because it's got the white slip underneath and this is just the green, the jaded on the terracotta. But to be honest, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. This had all chipped off here as well. And oh, that's recovered really well. I love him. You wouldn't know, would you, if I didn't tell you? Oh, he's going to be so pleased with that. Look at the little fella. And this was another one that had exactly the same problem. He was going in the bin. Okay, this one's a bit more noticeable. Yes, no, so, oh, yeah. So here, you can see here, it's where the glaze has gone here. And on the rim, it's where it chipped off. I obviously haven't put enough coats on. So maybe I'll refire that with some more coats on. Maybe. Or maybe I can do something else on there. Not a successful. However, three out of four, I'm super pleased with because I thought they were all going in the bin. Let me move this little house, this um, house, this tree out of the way. I love those. I they look so cute. Right. So then I did some luminaires and with, again, the white clip on. Oh, that's better. So I did it with the white slip on and then I put some stroke and coat over the top. It was too see-through, so I've put some more on the top. That's quite pretty. So my plan is, is that I'm going to put some gold luster on some of these stars and a gold luster on the top. That's quite nice. Much better. It wasn't usable before. So pleased with that one. But then I used some oxide, so I put the terracotta in the white slip. Then I bisfired it. Uh, oh no, when I can't remember what order I did. And then I put some oxides on and played around with it and it came out ugh, horrible. They were going in the bin. So this firing had space. So I literally just took some stroking coat and added blobs all over it in different techniques to see if it would cover what's underneath. Let's see. From the top, they look okay. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. I can see the blue here underneath because I know what I'm looking for. But if I didn't tell you, you'd think that was intentional, wouldn't you? That's actually quite nice. Again, gold luster I'm going to put on the star. Or I might put glitter, like acrylic glitter on there. But that's, I think I've saved that one. That's quite good. I think I did on this one sweeps. Lots of sweeps with the brush on that one. You can see the marks there on it there. Let me have a look, what's this one like? Okay, you can see there where I've missed a bit. That's obviously what it was like before. This one was lots of dabs. You can see a lot more through, which I'm not as keen on that one. However, if you didn't know that this was a refire and I was covering something up, you'd think that was quite nice. So potentially, they could actually be two sets, couldn't they? Different applications, neither of them really that obvious to see between the two, and this last one was really dark. Ah, oh, did lots of dots on that one. Again, nearly dropped it. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? I've got a little sharp bit there I need to take off. Again, the stars I need to do. I think I've saved those, really nice. Last little thing, this was, oh, cute. This was just made from scrap of clay, and then every time I finished a brush, I wiped it on here. Um, oh, I forgot. That was a new one I was doing. I forgot I bought a Jungle Gems to maybe use on the gnomes. But it's not really showing up very much. So I need to do more tests with that. But yeah, just a cute little dish. So I'm pleased, apart from one gnome, which I'm not happy with how his hat has turned out, you can see through the problem. I'm pleased, I am pleased. Um, so now I've got a plan on how I'm gonna glaze mm, the rest of them going forward. So those trees with the finer squirrels on, I'm looking forward to see what they look like, because um, they should show the white underslip, the, what is it, clay, the, the white slip underneath, with those fine, I think it's um, dandelion and soft peach twizzling around. 
got a few other techniques um, I've tried with some carvings and things over the slip. I've got some more large gnomes and I've got a load of small gnomes to do. And on some of the gnomes, I've put some fluffy pom-poms um, on the end, which is quite nice with a little bit of texture. I'm trying to build some stock to maybe do a Christmas market. That's about all I've done is one Christmas market last year. I don't know, I just, I get nervous. <laughs> so, that was fun. That was a nice way to end the day. Um, thanks ever so much for joining me and thank you very much for your support. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.